The Happen of Sizes, 1943, taken from I Am Here, in celebration of the 75th Jubilee anniversary of the birth of his Divine Presence, Avatar Adida Sangraj. I am remembering another incident in my childhood, not a scary one. When I was yet very small, I could not reach up to the top of the bathroom sink. One time there were some relatives visiting and Papa Hungry, my mother's father, gave me a mechanical wind-up race car. I was three or four years old, and the way they made those things in those days, they had a big wind-up key on the side, and the thing was all made of tin, with a big spring inside, exposed underneath the race car. All the relatives were in the living room, and I had been given this race car. So I went off to the bathroom with it. Nobody was having anything particular to do with me for the while, because they were all busy drinking aloud and visiting quietly. So I was able just to amuse myself alone with the race car in the bathroom. And all I could see above me was the top of my head in the mirror. I was still small, still short. And so I wound up the race car and I put it on top of my head so I could see it in the mirror while it was whirring around. All of a sudden, all of my hair got caught up in the race car and I could not untangle it out. So I soon stopped trying and I only looked up at the mirror to worry at the race car high up there, stalled and stationary, in my knot of hairs, wound tight to the skin of my head. And I wondered, what if everybody sees this? And will they shave me bald to get the race car off? And will Papa, hungry, take it back away? And will they laugh at me too hard? At last, I had to go to the living room and look like a fool with this race car sitting firmly on my head. And everybody laughed aloud, of course, and they had to cut it off me with a lot of hair to gone. And Papa Hungry did let me keep the race car, but it did not really work anymore. And I was only a little bit bold for a while in the middle. There were always a lot of strange embarrassments, incidents when anybody is small. Because the houses always tend to be built by the adults, so they can live in them. The things in childhood houses always correspond to the size and height of the adults. When you are a little child, it is more or less always like living in an alien world, especially when you are on your own and alone in the empty house. And maybe the reason everybody leaves home eventually is to go and find a house their own size. Chapter 8 of the Happen Ein book. <laughs>